Hi, this is San Diego personal injury attorney Mark Blaine. I'd like to talk to you briefly about the different burdens of proof that apply in both the criminal and civil American justice system. If you're a defendant for a criminal charge and your case goes to trial, the prosecutor has to prove you are guilty of your crimes beyond a reasonable doubt. In contrast, if you are a plaintiff in a civil action, for example, for bodily injuries against the defendant, then you would have to prove your case to a jury as a preponderance of the evidence. This means the jury only has to agree by 50.1% of your position, which could be on liability or what you're asking for in terms of case value. Conversely, the jury also has to find the evidence of the defense less convincing by 49.9%. Thus, as law professors say in law school, it is a mere tipping of the scales in favor of the plaintiff in civil jury trials as opposed to the far plunge of the scales in criminal matters. The logic for this stems from the fact your personal freedom is at stake in a, in a, criminal, in a criminal matter. So there must be clear certainty of your crimes, whereas in a civil matter, the crime is negligence. So there only needs to be close or convincing evidence of the wrong. In a criminal case in California, all 12 members of the jury must agree and convict on the crimes of the defendant, as opposed to a civil case where a majority, 9 out of 12 members of the jury, must agree for the plaintiff. If this does not occur, then the jury is said to be a hung jury. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see others or find out more information on the jury trial process, visit my website at blainlaw.com. Click on the video center and watch videos that will help with your particular injury or interest. Thank you.